presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Knock it wise! Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 27, NASDAQ off 44, S&P's down 23, gold. Gold contract down $1. ten, trading at 16.33 an ounce. We have silver up 24 cents, 18 dollars 60 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 43 cents, 85 dollars 98 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 20 ticks, trading 109.12. The 30 year off a point and a half at 120.14. The 10 year, folks, uh, let me just see this. I believe we're talking about 4.4 uh, right now. That's like 4.2. 4.2%. Amazing. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 146 ticks. Now, yeah, look at this, folks. This is so cool. It's unbelievable. If you heard me just do the update, right? I'm talking about the axe, uh, how just King Dollar can just move a little bit. Now, watch this. Yeah, I, I got to put this up here because King Dollar only moved 40 ticks. 40 ticks, okay, since when I did the update and right now and the E-mini, let's see, the E-mini just moved, I believe it moved like eight points on 40 ticks. Let me just see this. This is, this is like unbelievable, man. It did. So it just, 67, oh my God, no, it moved more than that. Oh, here it is right there. 68, you moved 20 points. It, so look at this, look at this. This is crazy, man. It's not crazy, it's good. You want, you want to get this correlation because the correlation is so direct, it's unbelievable. Look at this. Unbelievable. So what that's saying, by the way, folks, is this. Is that, and I'm going to bring an article up. Um, in fact, I'm going to bring it up right now because check this out. The, let me pull this up here for a second. Nope, I don't want that one. Where are we going? Okay, let me get another one of this. Because when you see this, this is pretty cool. Now, I don't... There we go. Okay, so check this out. There's a big hedge fund conference going on right now. And here it is right here. So listen to this. This is, the, you have all these dudes, the C4K investor conference is going on right now. So you get all these big dudes there. Well, uh, I'm, I, I believe this is a person's name, Bo, Boss, Bose Weinstein. Um, he is from Saba Capital. And then you're going to get, uh, so he's speaking right now, right? And you know what he see here? Here's a quote of his, okay? This is, this is such a cool quote for, for, for us, okay? Technicals are the most dominant change in the market compared with the last few years, Weinstein says. Weinstein says he sees an incredible shift away from fundamentals to technicals. We're living in a technical market, and traders who are living in a fundamental world will have to change their playbook. This is, it's, it, you know, listen, I'm, you know, talking to the choir, and I, I know that, uh, the chorus, whatever, how that goes. But it, it really is intriguing, and what does happen, folks, is that 
when you are in markets that are highly volatile, okay, um, technicals, I've seen technicals always take over in highly volatile markets. That's, that's the real bottom line. Just, that's, that's what happens, man, and it happens in spades. So let's take a look at these markets, all right? So if we take a look at the SPY first, what do you have happening? Well, here, let's do this. I got John from Philly. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, John. Good, good afternoon to you, sir. How you doing, man? I'm doing very well. I just have to contribute one or two details that dovetail right into what you're talking about now, just to bring it to your attention so you can elaborate for the benefit of your listeners. Thank you. Tom, on that E-mini S&P, the ESZ2, yep. uh, we've come down, we pulled back. You just mentioned how it just popped a bit. But interestingly enough, that E-mini S&P has made lows in the past, what, six, seven days down at uh, 3590. That was last Friday. And 3502, which was that Thursday morning after the CPI. Uh, or Wednesday yes. morning, I forget which. Yep. Anyway, based upon those two lows uh, and using your calculation technique of confluence yeah. with those two lows, uh -huh. confluence support is in a tight range, 36.72 to 36.62. The low 30 minutes ago was 36.67 right in the middle of that range. So we've come down, we've tested Confluence. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to hang up, uh, having told you that, but ask you now that we've hit Confluence in that 72 to 62 range with the 67 low, uh, can you just share with us if you can see any prospect for this rallying away from here? So, uh, Tom, thanks for all you do, and I hope that was of some interest to you. It was huge, John. And thank you, and thank you from the, the, all the listeners, too, man. So as John was doing that, folks, I put the confluence up, and you can see it, man. It's in spades. It's, 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 it's literally in spades. So what confluence is, folks, I, you, you, take, you take the trend, the full trend. You take the low of one, the low of the other. That's what it did. One, so it, it's, it's in between a point three eight two and a 618, and, you can, and that's it right there. Those, those, li those little green lines right there, that's it. And you can see it. It bounced off it beyond belief. Um, now let's get a little bit closer. Let's we'll get closer in here and take a look at this. So there we go. So first, you know, bottom line, what we gotta do now, we gotta make it inside, let's see, 3676. We did, okay. That bottom line, next move is Yeah, we're going, man. That's telling me that this is gonna try to run into the close again. You know, I don't I don't know if we're gonna run to the high, but it wants to run into the close. And you know the the it, the way this is, so let, let me bring up the spy for a second, because yeah, I'll bring up the spy as soon as we get back, because it's it's really wild here, kind of where we're at, coming into an option expiration. And what does happen now, folks, is that uh, there's so many, you know, option expiration is every week now. And, you know, everyone's trading options, man. That's the bottom line, okay? You got pros trading options, you got retail trading options. It's, you know, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a monster market. It's a liquid market. And, Options now are as liquid as uh, trading ETFs. Dow, Dow Industrials down 52, NASDAQ off 51, S&P's down uh, 24. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios, for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials down 85. Get the Nasdaq uh, off 65. S&Ps are down 29. Let's get inside the Dow and see the strength versus the weakness out here today. And strength-wise, oh, IBM finally came out with some numbers. Pretty amazing. They're putting uh, 40 positive points. Salesforce 25. Uh, Chevron 5 and Walmart 4. Taking away from it, Home Depot minus 42. You get Caterpillar minus 22, Travelers minus 21. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside there. Uh, Lamb Research, big number, seven, up 7.4%. Uh, you have uh, Zoom up 4%. Uh, Datadog's up 3.7, and ASML's up 2.8. Taken away from it, Tesla. Tesla's down 6.5%. You have uh, Ex Exelon is off uh, 3.7, Match is off 3.6, and Moderna is off 3.4. Let's go to our man Earl in Seminole. Earl, what's going on? Hiya, Tommy. Good to hear from you today. You also, man. How you been? Hi, hey, how you like this weather, huh? Boy, aren't we're going to have summer all winter. <laughs> <laughs> so... You want to look at the SLV? My, my my question is in the precious metals market. Yes. We all know that we all know, and I'm asking you: Are the big banks unwinding their shorts in the precious metals? I believe that. So the way, and specifically, so let's talk about silver, right? So this is a a little tough to get your head around, wrapped around, folks. Okay. But this is how I believe that they, well, I know that this is how they have traded, but I don't believe that they'll ever do anything different. And this is J.P. Morgan Chase, folks, okay? So they're the biggest silver dealer in there, okay? So they're always selling. They're always selling. Um, because they have unlimited amounts of money. They have, you know, and... The bottom line is that, you know, they'll, they sell, sell, sell until the bottom line, the rally is so dramatic that they get it, then they leverage the deal again, you know. So I don't, I don't see, you know, big banks like, you know, buying, okay. I just don't. You don't see them ever under uh, unwinding their shorts, but. That's correct. Because you, yeah. what happens is this. If you, if you so. What it is, Earl, is this. When you're a scale trade trader, right? And I've done this many times myself, okay? So what happens with a scale trader, this is how this goes, folks, depending on how much money you're dealing with, right? And it, listen, you, you got to understand something. When, if you and I do it, we can lose everything, okay? Banks can't, though. 
Okay, it's almost impossible yeah. because what ends up happening is, let, let's say like right now, it's at 1855 silver, right? Well, the bottom line is that if, 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 you're, you know, if you're, you're a scale trader, what ends up happening, depending what the scale is, your scale could be like five, five trades, 10 trades, whatever that is, and you just plan that out and it's gonna scale it every, every which way, it doesn't matter. And you're always collecting money, man. When you're scaling, if you're halfway decent right, you're always collecting money. The problem is, mm -hmm. is that you always have money out there at risk, okay? So mm -hmm. what the banks do, and they can do, and JP Morgan in particular, they can, they, as far as they're concerned, they can just keep selling, 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 because this is what they have. Now, here's the key, folks. Here's the kicker, that they are the bank for uh, the gold and the silver. Meaning, so if me and you, Earl, were... JP Morgan, right? Mm -hmm. What happens is that we have everything that we're actually selling out there, the same traders. Okay, so let's say me and you are trading at the desk, right? Those same traders, mm -hmm. they have Barrett calling them up. They have Newmont calling them up. Okay, how many tons or how many ounces of gold are you going to buy this week? How many ounces of silver are you going to buy? So they know the whole scale. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's a beautiful thing. For them, <laughs> you know, and so if they're wrong, well, guess what? You can just fill the order then. And there's there's a million different ways that can get twisted, but yeah, my take is that they'll never stop selling. And you know, it's an inside game, man. That's the bottom line. So it doesn't mean they can't go higher. I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to explain to you how it works. And when you, to me, you know, that's how banks make so much money. They're really not trading because they have all the answers. You know, they they know. What, and when, when, when mining companies sell to them, folks, the way this works, the, the banks don't even have to know what the price is today. They, they sell on a 30-day moving scale. That's how it works. So you can see kind of how, you know what I'm saying? So those, those desks, I suspect because, uh, you know, the last people that uh, the Justice Department just brought to, they got guilty, so we'll see how much they get sentenced. There's like two or three guys that got guilty at, the, at those desks. And, you know, the first, I mean, I think three or four years ago, someone went away for a couple of years. We'll see whether they're going to take these guys longer than that. But a couple of years is, you know, you, you figure out a couple of years for the hundreds of millions they made, it's not bad. So, yeah. Tom, in your humble opinion, are we near the bottom of this decline in the precious metals? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think we are. You know, because we, what has happened is that the, like, if we look at the pound, the yen, the euro, there, I mean, the pound and euro are so far down, it's unbelievable. The yen went over 150 today, and, you know, gold's down $4.10 right now. But exactly. it could be down a lot more. Do you know what I mean? And, and just so, so just so I'm on again. So listen to this, folks. Just when Earl and I were speaking, right? We saw that the S and P's were only down. First, the S and P's were down 40 when I 44 when I did the update. When I came on the year, they were only down 24 because the dollar had basically gone down another 40 points. Now the dollar just went up 100 ticks. And you can see what happens to the market. You can see what happens to gold. The, the dollar is running everything. And I suspect, you know, that this thing's going to pull back. And the reason I'm saying it's going to pull back, because you have the dollar can't rule the whole world. You know, right now it's actually ruling the whole world. And the reason that it can't rule the whole world is that we're too interconnected and the large companies are too interconnected so the pressure is going to come on that, hey, enough is enough, man. Do you know what I mean? So, and what I mean by that specifically is that, you know, something's going to break. And as soon as something breaks, then guess what? What ends up happening immediately, mm -hmm. the interest rate will back off because, you know, we, we don't want something to break, folks. But I suspect something is going to break before, you know, before long, probably. Well, Tom, we're in a recession. I mean, even yes. the government has admitted it now. Sure. How far into the recession can the dollar stay up? Yeah, that's a wild one, man. Your opinion? I think we're at highs. Like, I, I think it's happening right now, Earl. 
Okay, I think I, I thought so too, but I want to get your opinion. Yeah, no, I think it's happening right now. Let's you know, but it it hasn't broken though. That's the bottom line. Like no. technically, if we look at this thing, okay, um, you know, it hasn't broken, man. You know, that's so. We'll see. Well, I appreciate your expertise, Tom. You're uh, the best. Well, listen, man. Thanks for calling. I appreciate you growling and prowling with us, Earl. Have a great one, man. Thanks, Stay right. Tom. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial's off 132. Look at this, man. This, this is just okay. So now that now we're only down 34 ticks, the S and P's are back down 35. The Dow's down 131. Nasdaq's off 73. Right? Yank that dollar, man. Yank it. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 118. Nasdaq's up 74. S&P's are up 33. There was a question about uh, J.P. Morgan hold the physical silver in the paper or uh, trade it. No, they hold it. It's it's. They hold physical. They're, 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 the, the mines are selling them physical. You know, they hold plenty of futures, but the mines are selling them physical. That's, that's the bottom line. So, uh, Ma Bell. Yes, Ma Bell, folks. Okay. Uh, you know, they, they came in uh, in a down market with uh, some impressive numbers. That's the bottom line. You know, um, there you go. They. Ma Bell shares had the biggest gain since the early days of the pandemic after the company reported better than expected profit and consumer growth. Strong results from the telecommunication giant. Um, shares rose. They were like they were up a dollar fifteen right now. They hit sixteen forty five. The number three wireless carrier added uh, nine hundred sixty four thousand subscribers in the third quarter, uh, topping analyst estimates of nine hundred and thirteen. And that included another 708,000 regular monthly customers ahead of the, that was ahead of the uh, 631,000. So if we take a look at this, 
you know, bottom line is that, you know, these phone companies have been down big. You know, my bell was down, but if you look at Verizon, Verizon that was down twice the amount of uh, uh, my bell. But anyway, you know, bottom line, you know, looks to me like you're, you're off the bottom. And uh, 1671, and it's, it's at 1668, gets you in the, the higher range. It gets inside 1671, we're traded to 1716, that'll get it back up to this 2153. So it, it did break the downtrend, that's the bottom line. If you take a look at this, you know, you can put this back on a daily for a second. This thing has got hammered. So, so what you have there, I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, they, inside that, they, they had, you know, people were worried about the dividend well that's that's you don't have to worry about the dividend that you know that would have been in that whole number folks and the bottom line is it broke us downtrends that's saying on a longer basis you're going to go to 2083 and about a six and a half percent dividend i think yeah 6.65 dividend so not bad we go over to shopify shopify folks an abc up if you're looking for something for you know a couple days out here bottom line you got an abc up you know uh it's up a buck 50 right now you can see a b point on this is uh $29.72, you need 22 million shares and you get uh, 32. So, what it's, let's see, it's, it's not a huge one, but it's not bad. It gets 23.70, okay, well, that's not six bucks, six bucks. Yeah, that's 20, that's 33.83, 33.83, what's that swing? 35 is the swing, it'll probably go to 35, so not a bad trade. Let me see what they had to say. I mean, this is this equity got like smoked beyond belief. Um, let me, let's see, 1018. Did, did they not even come up with, let me see. Well, they were moving so much, I thought they came up with numbers. No, they don't even, okay, so that's interesting. So they, they're coming up with numbers the 27th. I'm not quite sure, so they must have come up with something to move it like that. Let's see what they said. Okay. No, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's an ABC up. That's if you if you're looking for a trade for the next couple of days, that's not a that's not a bad setup. That's that's the bottom line. Where we go, let's see, there we go, right there. The um let's go back over let's go to the oil well, hey, let's go wait till you hear this. This is gonna be a trip. So now, all you folks in the Northeast, this is going to be a, this is going to be wild watching this thing shake out. So, natural gas. So, picture what's happening here. Natural gas has been on a straight line move down from ten dollars. We're at five twenty right now. Let me put this on. And well, this is what's going on. Listen, what's going on? That and this is this always gets interesting because of the fact. See, it was only it's only been legal right the last few years to export natural gas, right? Well, what's happening, folks, okay, for you folks in the Northeast, this is a disaster. What's happening is that the gas that, you know, basically has been in the Northeast, man, has been getting exported beyond belief. So this winter, the Northeast is going to have shortages of natural gas, which is so wild because I remember when I was, you know, in Boston, you know, I, I so pitch this. I was lucky enough to remember having coal. I didn't have coal. It wasn't at my house. It was my friend's house. We would go down and we'd have to shovel the coal into the deal, right? We were like little kids. So I remember coal. Then you had oil. And then they put a big natural gas blitz coming in, okay? And the bottom line is that, you know, a lot of people got natural gas. Because of the fact, that's when uh, I'm going back to where the, uh, the oil embargo was in and oil was a lot of money. Gas was a lot, a lot less money. Well, bottom line is that this coming this winter, it's going to be, you guys are going to get squeezed, man. Uh, and, and it's because that, you know, the bottom line, you get the tankers, the tankers are taking it out. And we're not squeezed down the southeast, and believe it or not, they're not squeezed out west either. It's going to be the Northeast that squeeze. Um, let me just see if I can find this article because it's happening right now. If I put natural gas up. I can't find it off the head. There's, there's a good article on Bloomberg this morning about how the squeeze is going to come in on the Northeast. And that in particular, you know, like anything else, when you're talking heating elements at all, 
as long as it doesn't get really cold, you, you should be all right. But if it gets cold, it's gonna, you're gonna see some real pricing power uh, in a monster way. Let's go take a look at these MQs again because we, we got the pop. Now, well, no, oh, let me look at the dollar. It's all you really have to look at the markets now. It's like, oh, I knew what I was gonna say. So, so look at that, the dollar's positive, man. <laughs> so, the, when, when, you, when you're looking at this, it, 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 it's saying to me also, so picture this, we're not the only ones that are onto this in a big way. Can you imagine how the machines are onto this? So you can imagine how you, you're, you're programming the machine, right? And it's pretty, it's tick for tick, man. You know what I mean? It's like I, I can see them, how these programs are made uh, in, in this particular case because it is that equivalent in a just a huge way, you know. And there's a question in the den. So let's take a look. There was a question in the den. It's like, okay, you know, I, I said that I feel like it's going to pull back. And the question is, what happened to 121? And 121 is the swing point up there. Um, my take on this is that the we're so close to a breaking point, not here, not in the United States, okay, but what will end up happening, we're so close to a breaking point in a financial structure, meaning, and you never know who, what it is or who it is, okay, but it, it's going to have to do, this is what it's going to have to do with. It's going to have to do with the aspect of how many dollar bonds were sold overseas, and the bottom line is that they can't pay them back. That's, that's the reality, you know, because when you're talking about the correlation, you know, the correlation is pretty intense um, when your currency has got destroyed and you have to pay back in dollars versus your currency, you know. And I suspect at some particular point, you know, bottom line is going to be a blow up and the blow up always ends up coming back to our own banks. So the blow up will happen somewhere else. That happens somewhere else. The contagion goes boom, 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 and lands in one of the big banks' laps or one of the hedge funds' laps. They land in the bank's lap. It's just how it goes, man. So that's telling me that, you know, something's going to give here, and it's not going to be the dollar going higher. It's going to be one of the other currencies somehow, some way, you know, getting a bid. And, you know, of course, you, I'm sure you heard about the... English Prime Minister, she's out 44 days. That's the end of her. We get Boris Johnson that's going to be running again, so the world can have some fun with him, that's for sure. We'll see who else is running over there. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, down 112, Nasdaq's off 79, SP's off 34. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 125. Nasdaq's off uh, 83. S&Ps are off 36. Let's go look at Exxon Mobil. So my take here on uh, Exxon is that this is topping out, man. So... You know, might be short term, but uh, you know, this is what you're doing. Okay, see that swing high that it's going into. We hit 105 today. You get 105.57, 31 million shares, and you got 13. And even the last swing point was 24, and you get 13. You know, when you see that contraction of volume like that, particularly, you know, this is 100% move of a move. And what that means, so we started out five months ago at 105. You get all the way down to 80, you go all the way back to 105. You know, that's to me, it's 100% move or move. When you, when you do 100% move or move, you, you get a pullback. Now, the question is, is that where do you pull back to? I, I get that, trust me. It's, you know, but when, when you get a big move like that, you can expect some flack. That's the other side of it. Let's go take a look at a few of these gold stocks, okay? So let's go to an Eco Eagle first. Because when we're talking about Earl, you know, I, I do feel these things are off the bottom. And they're, they're tough, but they're off the bottom. An Eco Eagle. You can see this today. This is subtle, but you got it. 2.1 million. That's an expansion of volume. You swing us 2.1, so that's an expansion of volume. And we have volume at the last high, which is 46. So I expect that that's where that baby wants to run to. We got to take a look at Royal Gold because the stream has kind of run things, and the stream has haven't been able to move. Um, still not much action at all on Royal Gold. Franco Nevada FNV. We take a look at Franco Nevada. Yeah, same setup, man. Damn. Unbelievable. Barrick. So these are these. So the, the first two are streamers, folks. The next two are the largest gold and silver, well, gold companies in the world. Um, yep, look at this. Barrick Gold sold that baby right off. That being said, there's a buyer in Barrick Gold, though. That's, you know, that Barrick Gold has a high up there of 33 million. I mean, at the price point of 1649, it's 33 million. That wants higher price. Uh, Newmont, I just don't know what's wrong with Newmont. I mean, when you're talking about the largest gold company in the world, there's something seriously wrong here, man. <laughs> um, you know, this is either, they, they're either going to lose a big mine or something. Something's going to come down here, man. Because, you know, it doesn't make a whole bunch of sense that um, Newmont's trading like this. And, you know, I guess they're telling the market, too, they're only going to take in $2.9 to the bottom line, and that would be a uh, hit of earnings-wise, uh, quarter by quarter by 25%. So that's a lot of money. So, you know, you know yeah, there's, there's, there's a problem there. There's no doubt. If we take a look at uh, Anglo Ashanti, uh, this little baby's also trying to get off the bottom. You know, this has, you know, it has, it has volume at the 1534. Has good volume today, and you can see still this still sells, man. You can see see the volume expanded today, but yet it can't hold price. That's still some someone's still selling, man. That's the, that's the bottom line. And you know, overall, my take here is that it's pretty amazing how good actually gold has held up, and actually the gold equities. Now, when we did the numbers, the numbers are, are basically almost perfect, meaning the amount of Percentage-wise, where the dollar went up versus gold going down. That, that was just about, yeah, 
nailed it. Um, when Steve Rhodes, when I was entering, entering, um, interviewing Steve two weeks ago, two, a week ago Monday, um, you know, he had brought up the aspect of all these different sectors, and gold is down much lighter than, than the rest of the sectors. You know, so that says quite a bit because I've explained before how the aspect of, you know, all the good babies get thrown out with bad babies and market down markets because people need money. This, that's how it comes down. You know, and once it starts going up, though, what it should, you know, it, they pull back less and they should accelerate more. That's that's how it shakes out. So we'll see uh, if that's what we get. <laughs> um, you know, as, as to the brave new world, meaning that uh, you get crypto uh, is that competition? I think it's. I, I think it's probably. I'm not quite sure whether it's competition. Cause I'm not quite sure like how many folks that are actually young, which that's the crypto market for sure, actually even buy gold. You know what I mean? I started basically buying it in 1980. I was 30 though. You know what I mean? And then thank God I sold it, man. That's you know, you know what's so funny about that? I probably needed the money then. That, and I remember, I remember buying a whole bunch of it. Well, it was a whole bunch of me then. It was maybe, you know, I'm not only talking like maybe 30 ounces or something. I forget what it was. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot in the content. Well, anyway, it was what it was. But I remember I sold it. So I think I sold it at 600 bucks or something. And then, guess what? It went down forever. Yeah. And then we bought it back at $252. Yeah. That was, that was a deal. That was particularly a, a nice little deal. There's no doubt about that. The, uh, let's go see what we have with, so you had, oh, Tesla. Let's go to Tesla because bottom line, they come out with numbers. Uh, Elon was basically talking about everything except, uh, you know, <laughs> what's going on with Tesla. Now, this is kind of, in, this is real intriguing, actually, that can't break the bottoms. So someone is supporting this in a huge way. And, you know, it hit 202, but guess what? It's in the range, staying in the range, man. And it didn't, let me see if it hit this. Two, okay, so hold on, let me put this on a weekly now. Yeah, so 179, 206 at the 207. Someone's a believer. I mean, this can go to 179, but someone's a believer out here, you know, meaning when, you know, you, he didn't make his numbers, he's coming out, and, you know, this, was, this is something that I wasn't even thinking about, actually. Um, you know, interest rate structure, right? Interest rate structure, you know, bottom line, it's going to hit all these car companies, you know, because everyone was always used to, I mean, you, you walk in, you buy a car, and just sign your name, right? I mean, they, they went from... Uh, what? Let's see, I think, I don't remember three-year loans. Maybe I, I always remember four-year loans. But they went to four-year loans, and they went to five-year loans, right? I don't know if they have many more that's all, more than that right now. But the reality is that when you bang out uh, interest rates that we're at right now on car loans, I can imagine just, you know, what type of money you're talking. You're talking a whole different ball game, man. Um, absolute different ball game that you know when the 10 years running so we get the 10 year running 4.2 right yeah 4.4.232 ty Remember, we were doing this at one of the calls yesterday I think it was I want to see this number again was it 104 the bottom of the range on the I think it's 104. Let me put this in. We're at 109 right now. Yeah, it was 104. So here, to check this out. Oh, this is cool to understand where we're at in this. Eight-year car loans? <laughs> oh, man, that's like a house. And six-year car loans. That's crazy. Wow. That's intense, man. <laughs> you have to, oh, that's sad. Anyway, so you can see this, this 10 year, we're at the top of some support. Let's put it that way. But the bottom of this, that's 109. The bottom of this is 104.05. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 23, NASDAQ off 46. Uh, S&P's off 23, so the thing's trying to go again, and, uh, <laughs> oh, man, this is just, and so the dollar just went from a positive 14 ticks to a negative 95 ticks, and we just got another 20 points in the S&P. All, you know, I mean, my, my take, folks, is that this market's going to bounce and bounce big, and, uh, it's like, Okay, so you're coming into a Friday. You know, here we go over to the yen. I mean, just look at this yen, man. I mean, this is like unbelievable. I did the numbers on the yen yesterday, um, and what I did. Let me see where I did here. Where is this? Yeah. So I just did. So you're, you're at the yen's at 150 today. I did these numbers on the yen 140. Just, just, to, just, just look at this number though, man. I, I, how this shakes out. At 149. Well, so picture six months here. Let me do this quick, man, because then you can get an idea of just how crazy and how destructive, you know, something like this is, okay? So I did, what I did is I did a number, I believe it's right here. Yeah, I did, 130, yeah, 126. So, oh, 120, is that 126? Yeah, 126. So I did 126, that's the low of May, right? And I just says, okay, listen, you're coming over to the United States, right? You're buying a $500,000 place, right? Well, in May, a $500,000 place would have cost 63 million yen. Today, it's 74 million yen. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. 11.8% more. 
just on the currency conversion. Now that's only from May. Now watch this. I can't do this quick enough, but I'm gonna put this up just for three years. Oh man, hold you. Oh, that's like sick. What is that? 21. Look at that. So I can do that quick in my head. Unbelievable. So 102 gets you five. <laughs> so picture this. From from January of 2021, you're going from 50 million yen to 74 million yen. You talk about losing it, man. Unreal. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw you hot out the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Have a great night, safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.